loud is loud there? Is it different than other spots? Um, yeah, it is different than other spots. It gets pretty loud there. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a challenge for us, definitely, with the noise. I was telling the guys that um, earlier today, yeah, it, it can get pretty loud for sure. And McCarthy was telling us, like, in Minnesota, the decibels are 120, and up there, they measured at 140. What's the, I mean, can you quantify that difference? Like, is it, is it just loud as loud at some point? Yeah, I mean, when you're on offense, that's when the, um, the fans usually get loud. You know, sometimes it's hard to hear. You have to put a closer, put a closer ear to Dak in the huddle. Um, and that's why we have signals and stuff like that um, instead of like him audible, audible, audible in a play um, using words, he'll just use a signal. How much have you had to do that during the season to this point? I mean, I mean we, we <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> nah, I mean, it was all vibrate, it's not ringing. Um, but no, we, we, yeah, we, we always using, um, signals and audibles and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, with the crowd, that's why the fans do play a part, um, do play a part. Uh, so, I mean, it's definitely a challenge for us. Um, but I think we've been doing pretty good so far. So I don't think we, it's a huge concern. I don't think. For Mario, I know you're facing the defense, but just as someone who appreciates the game, what do you appreciate most about Patrick Mahomes' game and how much have you watched him? Obviously, you know, um, we've all had a chance or an opportunity to watch Patrick over the over the years um, because he's played in Super Bowls and stuff like that. Um, I mean, he's I mean, he's great at utilizing his weapons. I mean, he got um, some pretty good weapons over there. Um, you know, Travis, um, uh, Cheetah, all those fast guys over there, and so he he does a good good job distributing the ball to them um, and just allowing them to make plays. Um, but his his ability is great. Also, you know, he's a, an escape artist. Uh, has a pretty good arm. Can throw real far. Is real accurate. Can make something out of nothing. Uh, like even when they lost in the Super Bowl, you saw how like amazing he was. He was playing like he was keeping plays alive and stuff like that. So yeah, he's a great player. Any excitement though? You know, obviously they have an explosive offense and known to be in the high-powered offense. You guys are you got it going pretty good. Just your offense. I know y'all not necessarily playing against their offense, but that just kind of gets you guys your juice and pumping to, to match with their offense at all. I think so. Uh, to be honest, you know, they, they've over the past couple of years have had a really high powered offense, averaging so many yards per game, uh, a lot of points. Um, and even this year, they're still averaging like a lot of, um, a lot of yards. Um, so yeah, I mean, not to say that we'll be using their offense as a measuring stick, but I think it'll be a great opportunity to just see both offenses on the field um, at the same time. You know. How do you feel about the chances you guys will have against their defense, which has been pretty low rated most of the year? Um, yeah, I mean, their defense, um, at the beginning of the year, they were um, kind of struggling a bit. But as of late, they've been playing a whole lot better. Um, and so it's going to be another test for us. You know. Your defense bring pressure. How much do you guys like when other teams bring pressure because they give you opportunities to make I mean, it just depends on how well you can handle it as a team. I think um, we've been handling it pretty well as a team, um, especially with Dak, you know, Dak recognizing the blitz, being able to get us into the right situations and, and getting the ball off on time and stuff. We've been handling it well. Um, I don't think we've played a team that uh, just blitz as much as they do. So, again, it's going to be another challenge for us <clears throat> uh, from that aspect for sure. It was just a little bit after you got to Dallas, but do you remember when Zeke threw Dak in the red kettle after the touchdown? And, I mean, what have you learned about their friendship over the last few years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember seeing videos of it. I don't quite remember when it happened. You remember the game? I think it was Thanksgiving 2018. It's like two or three games. Oh, the Redskins game. game. Yeah, I didn't see it in person. I just remember him being in there. <laughs> but um, no, I've learned a lot about their friendship. They're, you know, they've, uh, they, they have a bond definitely, um, for sure. Um, just two guys who respect each other. They came in the same year. Um, and they got to see each other grow. So I think it was easy for them to, 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 to have that friendship that they have. Speaking of that, Thanks. other than I think maybe the one where you did the free throw, how come you don't ever do any type of uh, celebration or anything after most of your touchdowns? I, I just don't feel the urge to. I mean, I think it's just as simple as, simple as that. You know, guys who celebrate, they feel the urge to celebrate. Um, I, don't, I don't feel the urge to. That one time I felt the urge to do something, so I did it. So <laughs> I think it's just that simple. 
at Minnesota when they scored? Because you kind of walked back. Yeah, yeah, I did think about doing something. <laughs> I had I had the urge right there. <laughs> I was gonna punt the ball, but my hamstring was hurting, so I was like, nah, <laughs> like nah. <laughs> you got you got I would've got five for sure. Well, two. That's the two reasons I didn't do my hamstring. Well, I didn't I didn't care about the fine. I was <laughs> thinking about my hamstring, but I thought about like the penalty that would result from me doing that. So I'm like, nah. Yeah. Right. Right. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it a little bit. Um, I mean, every year the league comes with something, some point of emphasis. The thing about like rules, no matter if you think it's a good rule or not, like it, you have to recognize that it's a rule and it's now a part of the game. It don't it don't matter your opinion on it. Like if you you have to understand that if you do it, it can cost the team. So you just shouldn't do it. You know. I've heard you say before that you think it's because of the TV viewership, is, like why that some of these penalties and stuff are in because they're going to do whatever is going to be best for the people that are watching TV or, or whatever. I, I don't know. I heard you say something. <laughs> I probably did. I don't remember either, though. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember exactly what I said. Yeah. Um, obviously, Thanksgiving next week, there was a time, surreal time last year with the Marcus Paul situation. How, how tough was that for a team? Y'all think about that much? Yeah, no, I, I mean, it was it was real tough uh, for us. You know, a lot of guys were crying, you know, because we, we, um, we, you know, we see each other a lot. We see each other more than we see our families um, throughout the, the season. And so we, we grow a close relationship with um, the coaching staff um, and, and, and each other. Um, and so, yeah, we, 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 we think about that. Um, and it was an unfortunate situation. You take it back to that day when it happened and how y'all dealt with it. I don't really want. I don't really want to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, they they mention them, um, you know, every now and then. They uh, they were they were friends. Even they were friends. Because uh, a lot of times, like when you get a, um, a a a position to where you can hire other guys, you usually hire you know some of your friends and stuff like that. So they were they were close to Marcus, uh, and they talk about him. I haven't been anticipating it. Um, yeah, I know it's there. I know it's coming up. I've just been taking it one week at a time. I don't know how I feel, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know, to be honest. I, I don't know. Is your friends there? A couple. You know, the t every team's turnover every year. It's like a, a lot of players um, go on to play for other teams. But I still know I still know some players there. Is there any disappointment? Say again. I assume you're pretty grateful that they traded you here. Yeah, of course. I mean, I love it here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Here. Yeah, bittersweet though, because you know this team drafted you and, and got rid of you. I obviously appreciate it here. I don't know if you had any bitter feelings about how you were let go or sent away or anything like that. I I don't have any bitter feelings. Um, I can't say that I do. Just because I I really do understand the business. Mm -hmm. I understand that it's about production. Um, and for whatever reason, like whether I said it was my fault or someone else's fault, it doesn't really matter. The production wasn't what it needed to be. And that's the only, that's really like the only way a team will get rid of you. You know what I'm saying? So I understand it. So you acknowledge the production at Oakland? Yeah, it was. Yeah. When it went down, were you ever like, come on, I'm worth more than a first round pick? <laughs> nah. Nah, I wasn't. I what was were your expectations it. when you got traded here? Did you ever think it was going to be this? Uh, I mean, I just wanted to come in and, and play my best football. That's that's the only thing I was really focusing on. I wasn't really focusing on anything else, to be honest. Like, I wasn't on social media. I wasn't. I didn't hear anything like that was going on surrounding me getting traded. I was just like, okay, um, this is a new journey. I just my only goal is to play as well as I can. Did you think you had done that in Oakland with the Raiders? Nah, I didn't. Oh well, when I first got here, yeah, I, I think um, obviously it was the production was almost night and day as soon as I got here, um, as opposed to being on a different team in the very same season. Um, I, I mean, I was just getting the ball more. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I didn't obviously I like 
got traded in the same season, so it's not like I got stronger or faster or anything like that. I was that was impossible. You know, I was just getting the ball more. So that's it. I think, I think that might have could have played a part, but I, if I, I put it to you like this, if I had gotten the same amount of targets that I was getting when I was at the Raiders, the atmosphere wouldn't have played a part at all. So, yeah. So you don't think your lack of production in, with the Raiders was something you were doing, it was the opportunities you were doing? Yeah, I mean, I, I do take responsibility um, because I did have I, I did have some drops um, when when I was there, um, so I do take responsibility for that.